What's going on guys? Today we are going to be playing the Hillbilly. We're doing a stealth build. We're going to be running Mindbreaker, Tinkerer, Corrupt Intervention, and Hex Plaything. A reason behind Mindbreaker is to catch, you know, unsuspecting survivors on generators and then keep them from using Sprint Burst or potentially Lithe. Tinkerer gives us a notification when a generator is at 75% and then it grants us the undetectable status effect. So again, sneaking up on survivors, catching them off guard. And it, it, necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to that gen, but it does give us an advantage in chase or if we are trying to catch a survivor that's going from point A to point B out of position. Then we have Corrupt Intervention. Just to keep survivors moving in the beginning of the game. Again, want to catch them maybe mid-map or going from a corrupt gen to a uncorrupted gen. And Hex Play thing is just a little spice we like adding to the build. It gives the survivors another objective to worry about. Obviously, it's not the strongest perk by itself, but it does kind of keep them off generators if they choose to cleanse the totems. Uh, and then obviously it gives them a nice little status effect. We also, for our add-ons, are running the Filthy Slippers. So this is going to grant us the undetectable status effect after we have held our chainsaw for two seconds. So that's in a sprint, not revving it. Um, and then to keep us from running into things, we have the Spike Boots. Awesome add-on since they reworked his add-ons. Phenomenal. Love it. So that's the build. Check it out. Try it out. Let me know what you think. But let's get into the game. Let's get it. Let's see if anybody spawned over here. Probably heading to Shack. Meow. We had a survivor there. Could have sniped him. Oof. Oof, the. Alright, we got the old Megan. That's a pretty good start. We'll take it. We'll take it. I think the only thing I would change in this build is adding some aura reading. They probably run back to the mid, right? Or they run back to the pier. Oh! You just get overdrive so quick. Oh my gosh. Whoever thought overdrive was a good idea? I like that person. Billy is so strong. If you guys have been sleeping on Billy since this change, you need to play Billy. It is such a nice change of pace. Oh, oh my lord, who put a wall there? No! Oh wait, Tinker rocked. Um, I kind of want to take a weird angle. Let's see if we can. Over there. He went to the wrong generator like an idiot. Nah, we don't want an egg. That's not fun. Close but no cigar. Ooh, baby. Also, this is a uh, controller building now. It's pretty good. That was good. Nice little crouch. Now what? No one! Another one! Okay, this person's juicing. Oh, there we go. We just had to... Simplify it a little bit. Yeah, Billy's so fun. And he's one of the most satisfying builds. As long as 
you to like don't get in your own head. Narrow. They wouldn't be up here, would they? Nah. Is that Meg? It is Meg. I think we're gonna go back to the hook. Or we're gonna snipe Meg. Uh, and by snipe, I mean miss. I'm a little rusty. That's all right. God, man, every killer. Faking left, going right. It's as simple as that. You guys wanna get downs, get hits. That's the secret. You got a fast car. I got to get for anywhere. Nice. That was a. Uh... And that's the build right there, everybody. That's how to have fun on Billy. Unfortunately, Nia took the blunt end of that. They've got main going. I don't think. Any part of me wants to go there, but let's see if we can. Oh, I thought maybe I could bump off that. The answer is not bad. Oh, I tried to bump off that too. That's alright. That's alright. Oh my lord. What am I doing? The over I'm still getting used to the overdrive aspect of Billy. It's pretty tough. That's a corner peg. Sorry. But I think your time has come to an end in this trial. Nice. You know, I've never really uh, knew this, but one of these doors opens up when you finish that. Gen, apparently. That's more of a question than a statement. <laughs> I don't think we can turn that. Nah, 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 nah. The answer is no. We do have a survivor here. This is an ace on the gen? Yeah. Kind of anticipated that, but we didn't do a good job. But we zoned it. Calm spirit. Noise. People still use that perk, huh? Side note, do you guys read the patch updates or? Apparently they uh, fixed the potential energy bug where the toolboxes wouldn't successfully lose charges. Now they do. Pretty cool. It's getting a little obnoxious. They're going back to the hood. Oh, we went to the wrong side of the log. That's all right. I mean, there's no... Without Bamboozle, I'm not messing with the pause log. Oof. Oof. Baby, a triple. Man, I... Need to cut it out. If I were Nia, would I be here? Nope. I would not. Honestly, their safest bet is that gen inside the big check. Bow check. I think Nia was aware of one of the totem. They didn't have that fun to it. Is this door open too when the gen gets finished? 
something I never really paid attention to. Okay, Nia. It's kind of hard to do on controller. Like, a quick, like, right, left, right. And we definitely can get good curves with the recent changes, but... Again, chasing that main, not really something we care about. We do have a survivor here. Who is it? It is Ace. Ace Versace. There's no way we're getting that, right? Like, he's not a dingus. I'm a dingus. Alright, let's try to utilize this build. I think maybe Nia's on the back generator. Oh. If she was there, that was gonna be painful for me. Screw up like that and hit that rock tree push. See, you kinda can slide off it. Oh, it does open up. That's sick. Yeah, I knew she's gonna go wide. Alright. Okay. Okay. We take those. We take those. You know what, Jen? Aces. I don't know where Steve's been, though. What's that guy? Been? Ace is aware. He's definitely keeping an eye on. I mean, oh, you're dead. <laughs> Sick. I don't think we hooked Steve. I think this is just a wrap. I, oh, again, what is Steve been? Man's playing the long game. Well, that is sneaky Billy. In a nutshell. I mean, for the most part, it's pretty gimmicky, but you would be shocked at how often you catch survivors off guard. And again, if they're not in comms, they fall asleep for one second, you're either going to make up ground, you're going to catch up to them, you're going to catch them out of position, or you're just simply going to snipe them across the map while going crazy. It's going to be sick. I don't know. It's just in the basement. This might be a full episode in itself. Where's the steam? There we go. And that's, again, sneaky hillbilly. No gen regression perks. You don't need to put gen regression in all of your builds. You guys can have fun playing DVD. Now, if you like winning, sure, it helps. But try some different things out. Spice up your perks and enjoy the game. Also, if you guys like this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more DVD content. We primarily play Huntress, but we're going to be doing a couple additional videos for probably four or five different killers, just showcasing some fun builds, gimmicky ideas, and just how we can spice up our gameplay a little bit.